Hello everyone, today I have another custom LEGO minifigure review from United Bricks. If you want to check out my other United Bricks video, you can click right up here in the top right corner. This minifigure right here is the Christmas Cop. This is one of their newer releases, and I was really excited because this is one of a... This character is based off um, a movie character, so if you've ever seen the movie Die Hard, this is the Christmas Cop, and his name is also uh, John McClane, who's played by Bruce Willis in the movie. And it's a really good... Um, representation of the minifigure or the character from the movie and he looks exactly like him. So nice packaging it comes in. You can see United Bricks, Christmas Cop, minifigure right here and then a nice rendering of the minifigure. And then the back is, if it focuses, it says it's Christmas. What could possibly go wrong? Well for starters a group of terrorists have taken over the party. Have a yippee kaye Christmas. And that's just a little um, like saying yippee kaye and then he says something else. If you've seen the movie again you know. And then it just talks about them, how they printed and stuff like that. So UV printing. Let's open up the minifigure. Don't need the packaging. And then again, the card right here. And now time for the minifigure. He does come with a Brick Arms 1911. I think I've showed these on my channel before. Again, Brick Arms is really nice. So good to have that with the minifigure. And now time for the minifigure focuses. There we go. So the hairpiece works really well with the minifigure. It does look like him from the movie. Really quick, I just want to see it's a snug fit on there. I just want to see uh, the head came off. If I can, if there's back printing. I don't see any, so I'll leave the head on for now. Let's let it focus. And there you go. You can see the minifigure's face. He's got that 5 o'clock shadow. You can see all the cuts and scratches on his face. A little bit of some blood. Again, if you've seen the movie, you know he's, at this point in the movie, he's really beat up. Wrinkles in the forehead, wrinkles around the mouth. Really nice. Coming down to his chest and torso, you can see there's a blood stain on his chest. You can see his chest through his tank top. Sweat marks on near the armpits. Again, uh, he's got a gun right here. You can see wrinkles at the bottom, wrinkles in the tank top. More blood on the shoulder. I think... Yeah, that's just, he's got some, there's a lot of sweat on him. That's why I was trying to see it closer up. You can, so that is sweat. Then coming down to his waist and torso, you can see he's got a belt on, belt loops, belt buckle, really nice. Lots of detail in there. You can even see the holes for the belt, like in, inside the belt to uh, buckle it up. And then coming down to his pants, or legs and um, pants. He's got uh, the gray pants on from the movie. There's holes in it. You can see even stitching on it. Creases in the pants. And then in the movie, he doesn't have shoes on. So right here, these are his toes, which is really funny. They look because they're circular on a square foot. But that's a nice detail, and it's very, very done well. Done very well, sorry. You can even see it's printed on um, gray, so the flesh tone works really well because it actually doesn't look like it's printed on gray. It looks like it is flesh tone, and the gray was printed on that. So great job to them for doing that. Coming to the side... You can see he does have a uh, tattoo right there, and then there's a blood. You can even see his muscles. He's pretty swole. Uh, again, printing on the side. A little hard to see because the lighting. Hold on. There we go. You can see sweat under the armpit and a crease right there in the tank top. And then the belt right here again, and then coming down to the side of the pants. You can see he's got his foot wrapped up. There's blood because he did step in glass. And then you can see there's a pocket in the pants. Lots of detailing in this minifigure. It's done very well and um, probably my, now my favorite from their website. Uh, again, you can see uh, he's got some cuts and scratches on his arm. He's pretty swole. He's got a watch on. And then more, um, you can see no sweat on this side, but there is a crease in the tank top. Then he's got the belt, pants, and then no bandage on this foot, but the flesh tone feet is really nice. And then coming to the back, you can see a bunch more sweat and dirt. You can see the back muscles, contours to it, where it's open on the neck, where it's open on the arms. Really nice. Again, lots of detail. And then uh, he's got the belt on. You can see all the holes for the pants and then the belt. And then the back of the pants. No, um, no printing or any details at the uh, back, but uh, there are the feet. So great job to this minifigure. Just really check. Um, 
This looks exactly like the character from the movie Die Hard. Let's put him on his base plate. There we go. Um, if you want to get this minifigure, link will be down below, of course. Don't forget to check out my other United Brick video right up here. It's um, Walking Dead. Um, if you ever like this video, leave a like. It helps me out. I know you guys like the video and everything. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.